welcome to my youtube channel civil ka adda so here in this video we are going to learn about how to find the axial factor load on a circular column so first if we see the question here a short circular column of diameter 400 mm is reinforced with six number of 16 mm diameter so find the axial factor load on the column if m20 grade concrete and fe415 grade steel is used so in this question he has given that there is a circular column so which is having the six number of bars and it is having the diameter of 16 mm and the diameter of the circular column is 400 mm so here he has also given the fck 20 newton per mm square that is m20 grade concrete and he has also mentioned in the question that fe415 so that is fy is equals to 415 newton per mm square so we'll see how to solve this problem so to find out the axial factored load so first write down the given data what is given in the question so that based on the given data it will be very easy to find the solution so write down the given data here i am writing the given data so what he has given he has given the fck 20 newton per mm square and fy 415 newton per mm square and six number of bars so number of bars is equals to so six nos that is six numbers and diameter of the bar is equals to 16 mm and what he has given he has given the circular column diameter that is 400 mm so diameter of the column so it is 400 mm and that's it so here we need to find out the axial factored load so axial factored load so it which is denoted with p u so this is what we need to find for this given data so first we will see to find out the axial factored load we have the formula p u is equals to 0.4 f c k a c plus 0.67 f y a s c from our i s 456 2000 code book page number 71 so i will going to write that also so we have that formula to find out pu so there we have the unknown unknown values so that to be finded first so let me solve that first area of steel so area of steel is denoted with asc so asc here to find out the area of this steel we have n into pi d square by 4 as it is a circular column and even to find out the area asc is equals to n into pi by 4 into d square so n is 6 into pi by 4 so d is how much 16 dia so 16 square So six into pi by four into sixteen square that is ASC. So which is given as one zero one two zero six point three seven mm square. So therefore, area of steel ASC is equal to one two zero six point three seven mm square. so we need to find out the area of concrete also so area of concrete so area of concrete so which is denoted with ac so ac is taken as gross area 
gross area minus area of steel so that is asc so gross area is ag and area of steel is equals to asc so how this is minus from the asc we want the area of the concrete right so to find out the area of concrete if we minus the reinforcement into the overall concrete then we will be getting the area of the concrete so which means so complete com if uh, column is there so complete area of the concrete area of the column so in that what all the various things are there the main reinforcement that is the main two things that is the reinforcement and the concrete so to find out the area of the concrete if we minus the area of steel from the total area we will be getting the area of the concrete so we'll see that so ag so we want ag first right so first we'll find out the gross area so gross area ag is equals to pi by 4 into circular diameter how much 400 so 400 square so ag equal to therefore ag is equals to 1 2 5 6 3. 7 mm square or else 125.66 into 10 cube mm square so this is the ag so we know ag value now we know already ac we have calculated here so we'll substitute that we'll find out the ac so ag is 12566 3.7 minus ASC how much? 1206.37. So 1206.37. So therefore, so let me calculate this. AC is equals to one two four four five seven point three mm square. So therefore, AC is equals to one two double four point seven point three mm square. So now we have got the AC value, AG value, and AC value. So we'll substitute in the formula, and we'll find out the PU. so for axially loaded short columns factored load factored load is given by So PU is equals to zero point four FCK AC plus zero point six seven FY ASC. So this formula we have taken from our IS four five six. So from IS four five six two thousand clause. Thirty nine point three, page number seventy one. So from page seventy one of our IS four five six, we have got the PU is equals to zero point four FCK AC plus zero point six seven FI AC for actually loaded short columns. So we'll substitute all the values here. We know FCK, we know AC, FI, ASC. So all values are known values. So simply we should substitute in that. So PU equal to zero point four into FCK. How much? Twenty into AC. 
वन टू डबल फोर फाइव सेवन पॉइंट थ्री प्लस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन इंटू एफ वाई फोर वन फाइव इंटू ए एस सी सो वन टू जीरो सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री सेवन वन टू जीरो सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री सेवन सो इफ यू कैलकुलेट ऑल दिस वी विल बी गेटिंग दी पी यू वैल्यू सो पी यू इज इक्व टू वन डबल थ्री वन सो वन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी वन पॉइंट जीरो एट किलो वन डबल थ्री वन पॉइंट जीरो एट इंटू टेन क्यूब न्यूटन सो देर फोर देर फोर एक्चुअली लोडेड शॉर्ट कॉलम फैक्टर्ड लोड इज गिवन बाई दिस पी यू एंड दैट पी यू इज दिस सो देर फोर पी यू इज इक्व टू सो इन न्यूटन इट इज इंटू टेन क्यूब and in kilo newton it is 1331.08 kilo newton and in newtons 1331.08 into 10 cube so what is asked in the question find the axial factored load so we have founded the axial factored load pu which means we are done with the problem so thank you thank you all for watching my video and do like share and subscribe to my channel civil card da Thank you all